Mr. Beast is fighting back. On Snapchat, Keemstar revealed he spoke with Mr. Beast, confirming that the response video is dropping this week. And I will tell you, Mr. Beast, in fact, is going to respond, and we should have that this week. Mr. Beast's response will be focused on the serious allegations made by former employees who are accusing Mr. Beast of creating a toxic workplace and running illegal lotteries. Do you think Mr. Beast can beat the allegations? Aloha, conservatives and uh, liberals. So I wanted to make this really quick video. Pardon the lack of editing, but you guys put up with Moist Critical's videos, so I don't think this should be any different, realistically. But this is gonna be about Dog Pack and Mr. Beast, and did Mr. Beast finally win? As you guys might know, or might have not known, Mr. Beast is going to reply to everybody. I'm guessing within the weekend, or maybe tomorrow, or later tonight. And he's going after Dog Pack, the person that's been making allegations against him and the way he's been running things. Seemingly, it seems like all the focus has gone off of Chris Tyson and has been deflected onto Mr. Beast. And everybody is just talking about feasting on the beast and stuff, which is alright, but... Oh, it... The attention is just off Chris Tyson at this point. This reminds me of when Nicholas DiOrio tried to make it all about Shadman and took the focus right off of Chris. So again, there's Dog Pack and Nick DiOrio are very alike, which is why I find it really hilarious that Dog Pack and DiOrio are fighting, or rather DiOrio's fighting with Dog Pack. Over the last couple of weeks, he's been, from what people have seen, a little bit could maybe be a little bit of a nitpick, nitpicking here and there. He nitpicks quite a bit more than he would his friends but I guess that's understandable because they are his friends his internet friends and the last time a group chat was leaked we saw that the Oreo was crying for his internet friends to come back so obviously he must have a really big heart for them I mean he's still keeping Lyrix a secret even though the Oreo claims to hate Wally Khan he still promotes Lyrix and doesn't you know show off any of the proof but, uh, you know, again, just the Oriole being loyal to his friends to the very end, even if it means compromising his supposed principles. Which is, again, another reason that I found it very funny that he was the one doing this. It's not so much that I disagree with his skepticism, as I have always been the most skeptical about things. Basically, this is another case of a bigger East Lev taking my talking points and my ideology when it's suitable for them. This is nothing new, you'll see it quite often. But as to what Dog Pack went ahead and said, this made the Oreo do a backflip, cartwheels even, but only in his head because he can't muster it since gravity is not his friend. We got Dog Pack saying here that the James Warren DV charges update, uh, basically, so I don't bore you with everything he's saying, is that he got it wrong, okay? He got this part of his video, his part three, wrong. And everybody is going around saying that, oh, he was, he was pushing allegations without evidence or something. So the defense for Dog Pack is that he said allegedly and was, if anything, bringing the charges to light but not saying they were real, right? So he was like saying, he was clear in the video that there were allegations of charges, but the charges were unproven because, you know, charges themselves are unproven accusations, basically. So that seems to be the, dis the defense for him. Now, the people that are attacking him, and some of them seemingly sweeping for the beast, are saying that this is irresponsible, and how could you, and you just had to wait a week, and you jumped the gun, and you're uncredible now, and you're clout chasing. Which all that is very fucking hilarious mumbo jumbo, and it's why I don't really listen to most of the fucking Spurgs nowadays. Contrary to what people would try to have you believe, since I'm not trying to brainwash you guys, I'll tell you like it is. No, not everybody deserves a voice, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know if I was, if I actually was money and power hungry, like half of the influencers here, like a low T tall, if we want to go to the top of the food chain like a Charlie, I wouldn't be saying this. Uh, but I gotta tell you like it is, bro. I'm not gonna sugarcoat shit for you. I've never really done that ever. And I'm not gonna do it now. So again, yeah, not every Spurg's voice deserves to be fucking heard. Because <laughs> good grief. Like some of the, the attacks on Dog Pack's character is just... They even deviate from the main point that Tubby D was trying to make. Like, for example, the LaCoya thing, Tubby D, I don't think, ever really disagreed with it. And in fact, I think he said that was the most important thing of the video, and I gotta say that I, you know, for, aside from the fact that it's coming from Nick Diori of all people, which is a big old LOL right there. It's like, yeah, like, yeah, the LaCoya thing. And even in the second part two of Dogpack's video, it was a little lackluster with Jake Weddle and all this stupid shit that was 
uh, going about, uh, but whatever, you know. I'm not gonna say dog pack is clout chasing because that would be illogical. How is he clout chasing if he's not even monetized? Is he hoping to make a name off of himself as a content creator following this? I don't know. Only dog pack knows that. It all really depends. But I think that the other thing that's the most hilarious out of this, other than like commentary pointing this out, is the fact that the people that have gotten things wrong all the fucking time aren't willing to give this guy the benefit of the doubt or even help him. It seems like they're trying to tear him down with the same dog pack mentality when you guys are your major fuck ups all on your own, right? There's a documented history that you guys try to so desperately sweep away when you present it to an audience that is in the bubble that you guys are brainwashed. They all agree unanimously that you guys are fucking cards. And that is again for a reason. Commentary's bubble is the laughing stock of pretty much any average person. Even the Wally Cons make fun of you because you're so fucking inconsistent. Like again, this comes back to the Lyrix question. Commentary hates Wally unless it's Lyrix that's reviewing Aeromanga Sensei, yeah, then that's fine, completely. <laughs> I'm gonna bring up this point every time they don't address it, because it is the definitive nail in the coffin to prove that these guys are hypocritical bastards that don't stand behind anything. Like, again, you want to make an uproar about insinuations and claim the dog pack was making an insinuation on someone's character? That's exactly what you people are known for on a regular fucking basis. That's why Pedo Defender Extraordinaire Technicals was able to wipe the floor with you guys. He was out able to out-weasel the weasels because he had enough ammunition. But that's a story for another day. Anyway, that's really all I have for this video. Like I said, no fancy editing, no real effort because I'm... I'm out the door right now, ladies and gentlemen. It's a busy fucking time, but we'll we'll probably revisit this on the stream on Fridays, and uh, we'll we'll see what else comes of it. And anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy this video, uh, like and share it if you did, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.